Hey, this is Photoshop Dude, and I'm going to teach you how to make a logo like this in Adobe Photoshop. So first of all, open it up. I've got um, a 500 by 500 pixel image, which I open by going File, then New, and then selecting my width and height in pixels and naming it Logo. So first of all, you're going to need a background, like this one's a kind of electric style. So there's many different background types you can get you can have it purely one color well, i'm going to show you how to make it this electric style which i've got on my logo so first of all you're going to need your background color so uh here are your two colors you double click or single click even on the one which you want to be your background color and select what you want it to be so i'm going to use for this purpose blue and then I'm going to select the pen tool, which is in the toolbar over here. And then for the brush size, which is up here, I'm going to select 600. Then I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button and colour in the entire image. Then I'm going to create a new layer by going to my layers box, which is in Adobe CS4 is bottom right and then I'm going to select this icon here to create a new layer then I'm going to press this little switch icon here to switch the colors around and then I'm going to single click on this kind of mucky gold color to select uh, a green which is going to be my electric uh, style like the yellow here next just select your pen tool again but make the size of your uh, brush quite small. So I'm going to go for 100, actually about 80 pixels. Then just colour uh, some pattern. Uh, can be anything you like. Didn't really like that one, so i am just undone it. Okay, so we'll just keep with that. And then you get the smudge tool which is here it might not be on the smudge tool so you might have to right click and then select the smudge tool you can use any brush you want although i tend to use uh... where is it this one you can make the brush size a bit bigger if you want to because i'm going to make it eighty and then you just start smudging like like so might be a bit laggy for you guys since i've got camtasia recorder running um, Yep. So you just go pretty wild. Um, as you can see, it it looks quite like electric electric styled. You just do that all over the place. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure you get the picture. So. I'll just finish this off. Mm -hmm. uh, add a bit more effect here. And maybe a bit more in there. Okay, so then you create a new layer by again going to your layers box and clicking this icon. And then you want to select the alep tick marquee tool um, yours might be on a rectangular shape so all you do is right click and then select it you could either use any of these because this is going to be the shape of your logo but most of them are circles so that's what I'm going to use you can hold down shift to help you make the perfect circle but I'm not going to just hold down your left mouse button and pull it till you get your shape which you want this is basically so it won't go out the lines um, where it's like the animation flashing black and white uh, yeah that's it so then you go back to your layers box and click on effects and then you want to go to gradient overlay now you can select any of these which you want you can change the color by clicking on these here so if I click on this white one it will open up this then I could say select red for one then at the other end 
I could select do, 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 I don't know about an orange and then in between I could create a colour by double clicking I think anyway I don't really want to do that so oh yeah there you go double clicking and then you just select the colour so you can see what the gradient is going to look like here and you just click OK then you can add a stroke which is basically an outline you select your colour white normally looks quite good with the size of 10 pixels and then you can add a drop shadow which basically um, makes it kind of pop out make it look 3D um, so I will I'm going to make the opacity 100 and I'm going to make the size 40 and then you just press OK and then you'll notice nothing's happened go to your pen tool and for the size, um, well actually just get a brush, make it any size you want and just cut it in anywhere and now you've got the base for your logo then you just create a new layer by again going to your layers box and clicking the icon and then selecting the colour to be uh, white basically this step's going to make a 3D effect so you just colour over it again and go to your layers box and change the opacity to roughly around 50 and then you get your rubber make sure the pixel is really big so I've selected 700 it's got to be a circular one and you just click say anywhere and it will kind of rub out that leaving some white to make it a 3D effect and then you can just go to the text tool and add your text so we do that the text tool is again on the toolbar and you just click anywhere uh, make the size whatever you want I'm gonna make it 352 mm, that's still a bit big 252 and then you just type whatever you want so I'm gonna type PD is in Photoshop dude then you can change the colour by highlight highlighting it and up here you'll see it's white which is the colour of my text you can change it to whatever so I'm gonna make it green and you can just move that say actually that doesn't stand out too good so just change that as many times as you want uh, I'm just gonna make it purple you can move it around using this uh, move tool here or press uh, V on your keyboard not sure if it's Mac because I'm using Windows then you can add the same effects like a stroke for text I recommend 3 pixels you can have it whatever colour you want so I'm going to add doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, a kind of yellow colour stroke you can add a drop shadow if you want um, I recommend 25 pixels for text and then there you go so thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make your own logo